host Eric here driving to pick up some Mexican food that's what this five minute video is about Mexican food I am getting Mexican food that is being made by coach Abraham's mother now coach Abraham's mother is in fact Mexican that's right she's from Mexico as a consequence she's going to prepare some Mexican food for us to eat today I'm quite excited to try this Mexican food and I am blessed in general to be able to eat a lot of good Mexican food why because I live in Southern California and Southern California is a place where there's lots of good Mexican food additionally I will point out two other things number one I have been married into two different Mexican families. And now Candace's family is very white in its culture, in terms of the food that is prepared in general, which is to say they eat a lot of American food. And, you know, Candace's mom is second generation, not first generation, so she speaks beautiful Spanish, but she doesn't sound, she doesn't have any accents or anything like that, you know, because she's a native-born American. Anyway, uh, my first wife's mother, though, whom I refer to as Abuelita in general, until I was biological grandmother on her mother's side. She's maternal biological grandmother. Uh, she was very Mexican from Mexico, from Michoacan, and she made a lot of really good Mexican food. But I tell you where Candace's family kills it with Mexican food is with the carne asada. Now, if you never had carne asada, then you're missing out because it's super good. But you got to get it from the right place. So, what Mexicans do is they get carne asada from the carneseria, and the carneseria is the uh, it's the meat store, the meat store in Mexican, right? Carnesseria is uh, they what they do is they take these strips of meat and then they put it in some kind of you know seasoning goo of some sort and they let that marinate for you know overnight or however long you do it. I don't know. And then when you get it, you just put it on the barbecue. And if it's done, if you get the good ones, then it's just like super like melt in your mouth, kind of just super tender. And if you get shitty ones, then it's stringy and chewy and tough to eat. And so, uh, obviously, prefer the good ones. That's what I'm going to recommend. I've got a clear recommendation here. I think it's going to be very useful information for you. When purchasing carne asada at the carneseria, prefer the good carne asada. I don't know which one, which carnivore to go to. I can't tell you that because I don't know. I've never go, gone and purchased it before. I've just eaten it. So, uh, anyway, they kill it with the carne, normally. But I have gone there and had it not so great. And usually when I say, well, what's up? They're like, oh, well, we went to this other place. And, you know, it's just not as good. So, uh, yeah, it really depends a lot on that. Of course, the cooking matters, too. Carne asada. Now, you don't want to cook it too long. You don't want to cook it too short. You know, basic stuff like that. Johnny, Candace's dad, he's quite the uh, stud on the barbecue. He knows what he's doing. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about regarding Mexican food is my favorite kind of Mexican food. My favorite dish, the thing I get at most Mexican restaurants, if I'm just like a sit down place, I would get the chili relleno. Chili rellenos are, it's a chili and it's got some crap inside of it, right? and they bake it. Now these, though, I gotta tell you, if you wanna talk about a dish that you really, it's super hit and miss, right? If someplace is good at it, and they nail it, it's aw, oh, but if it's shitty, then eh, because you gotta cook the right amount of time or else the pepper's too hard. 